Hey y'all, <laughs> welcome back, or just welcome. Today's reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio, you guys. So we're going to see what energies, uh, what's going on around your energy on today. Um, take a risk, maybe, but don't, don't try to force anything. It could be your story, then again, it could be someone else's story. Take a resonate. It's most definitely a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If you click on this video, go ahead and hit the like button for me, you guys. I greatly appreciate it. And if you watch it all the way to the end, go ahead and subscribe. <clears throat> Divine light, the highest form of protection, or angel, my brain, invite my spirit, guide and guardian angels into the healing station. Any messages today for the sign of Scorpio? Can you please speak to the card for us? Greatly appreciate it. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. It's just a lot going on for me. But I'm not going to let that stop what Spirit has to say to you guys. <laughs> but let's see. Spirit, what you got for Scorpio today? What you got for Scorpio? Some of you guys are about to have a new start in something. This is something that's very creative and uh, inspiring. Um, something with like a passionate start. Um, it's like a twist to it. But I do feel like y'all are about to set off on some type of new adventure. Scorpio. <laughs> some of you guys are most definitely dealing with some type of soulmate connection here. Because <clears throat> I see things being not healthy, then I see things being healthy. Like, I see it being bad, but then I see it being good. Like, some of you guys are dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate or a karmic it's just whatever i guess the journey is taking you guys this is crazy how you have the devil and the lovers here next to each other it could be some type of confusion living in some type of illusion up in your head not able to make a decision a lot of you guys are very indecisive right now and somebody could be waiting on you to make a choice. It's like they're sitting back and they're waiting on you to make up your mind on what it is that you're going to do. Hmm. Spirit, why is the devil card here for the sign of Scorpio? Why is the devil here for the sign of Scorpio, Spirit? See, some of you guys are feeling like you're stuck. Like you're, you're bound to somebody. It's like a, a emotional imprisonment here. It's like you feeling like you cannot break loose from something. You feel restricted. A lot of you guys are up in your head. It's like you're not able to maintain focus. Or it's like your mind is scattered right now. Some of you guys are letting your emotions kind of get the best of you. You're letting your emotions keep you stuck in one spot but it's like you're not making no movement away from this devil energy you feel like you just can't break free you're up in your head about it a lot a lot of you guys are feeling very stagnant at the time you're you're not making any move it's, you, you're living in your head somebody is living in your head rent free here you can't get this connection or this person off of your mind. Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn or a Gemini. But it's like you keep replaying things within your head. Like, should I stay or should I go? Can we make things right? Will things ever get right? It's like you're so focused on the things that has happened in the past. It's like you hold on to that. And it's keeping you... 
it's keeping you in one place. Spirit, why is the love is here for the sign of Scorpio? Why is the love is here for the sign of Scorpio? It's like you're not trying to do anything to change. It's like you're sitting in a lot of regret. It's like you miss someone. It's like you're wishing that this person would come back and reconcile with you guys. But look, you got this ace of wands again here, you guys. Something creative, something passionate, something is about to catch your attention here and you're about to begin something. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. I feel like a lot of you guys are thinking about the stability within this connection, the foundation. Are we able to build? Are we able to maintain? It's like you feel like you're trying to regain control. It's like you're trying to stabilize yourself. Some of you guys could be mad or angry being very aggressive at this time but it's like you're trying to get this relationship back on one accord here it's like you're trying to get this stability and back in make it more healthy why is the seven of cups here for the sign of scorpio why is the seven of cups here for the sign of scorpio It's like it's time for you to move. It's time to move forward. It's time to put something in action here. It's like you have to get out your head about whatever this is. You got to pick something. You can't stay indecisive on this decision. It's time to communicate what it is that you're going to do. What are you going to do? Are you moving forward or are you going to stay feeling stuck? This could also be some type of communication that you're about to receive. See, someone is very curious about what you're going to do. It's like they're sitting there. I'm telling you, it's like somebody's watching you. It's like they're sitting there. They're watching. They're trying to see what your next step's going to be. They're curious. They're interested. You could be watching someone, keeping an eye on this person. It's like you want to know what they're doing. It's like you're up in your head about this person. Give me more here. It's like you could be wanting to reach out. But it's like you're confused. Some of you guys could have seen something. And it put you up in your head about a situation or a person. Ace of Wands again. I feel like there's somebody here that's wanting a new start with you regardless of what's going on. And they're waiting on you to make a decision. They're waiting on they're waiting on you. This person don't see anything else but you. You're very nurturing. You're very caring. You're very abundant. Y'all are so creative. Like this person sees you as their wife, the mother or the father of their kids. I have the Empress and the Emperor showing up in this reading. This most definitely could be some type of divine connection. I'm going to clarify this devil card. Why is the devil card here for the sign of Scorpio? Why is the devil card here? Clarifying the devil. <laughs> it's like somebody, you feel like you're under some type of spell here. It's like this person reaches out to you. They communicate to you. And like it draws you back in. It's like this person lives in your head, you guys. 
some of you guys are just dealing with a Capricorn or you have it in your charts. But it's like this person reaches out to you and it's like you fall right back for it. It's like you go right back to this. This person is so intoxicated to you. Like you get a... Like this person take you to places mentally take you to different places it's like it's so good to where it's so bad like i know you're not right for me but this it's like i i can't break free from you this person keep you up in your head it's like they playing with your mind like this is somebody who's very manipulated this person, it, it, they keep you trapped in your head. They keep you wondering. They keep, they make you keep thinking. Like it's so much confusion here. It's like, huh? It's a lot of mind, mind games here. Why is this love is hard here for the sign of Scorpio? Why is the love is here for the sign of Scorpio spirit? It's like some of you guys are feeling so overwhelmed with this connection. It's like you have put a lot into it, and it's like I'm trying to move away from this. I don't, I don't want this anymore. Some of you guys could be in two different situations. You have, <laughs> you have more than one choice, like. One relationship is, is so intoxicating to you. And then the other relationship is so healthy for you. But it's like, it's like people that, it's like good boys ain't no fun, but the bad boys ain't good for you. Vice versa here, you guys. But it's like, you could be thinking about packing your stuff up and leaving this other connection here. It's like you're walking away from this charming person that's very emotional, that opens up and talk with you. This person can do a lot of different things for you, like give you gifts, fix you dinner, leave you little love letters. But it's like for some reason, it's like you're so stuck on this negative person. This, if this is two people, because now I'm feeling like it's two it's two different people that you're dealing with. And it's like you're packing up and you're leaving one situation behind. It's like this is the, the, the good one. The one that expresses that stuff. The one that don't play mind games with you. But you're always thinking about the other energy. The one that's bad for you guys. Why is this seven of cups here? Why is the seven cups here for Scorpio? You feel like a wounded warrior here. You feel like you have been through a lot. But I do see that you're about to get away from that being confused. Some of you guys are about to move on from that or you're about to move on from a situation. It feel like you didn't had enough. Or this is someone moving on from you. It's like I done been through a lot with you. Why is the emperor here? Matter of fact, give me more on this devil card. Why is this devil card here? Why is the devil here? It's like what's toxic for you. It's like you want to heal it. It's like you want to balance it out. You want to make it right. You want to be the yin and the yang with this person. It's like this is the one you see yourself 
making deals with, getting married to. It's like you could be dealing with a Libra or a Sagittarius, but it's like this person is like you feel like you could heal this person. This person is more like an energy vampire because if you look at these two people here, they're the total opposite. Like this person, it's like this person is an energy vampire. It's like they're stealing your energy. It's like, why is this night of cups here with the lovers? It's like you feel like you can fix this person. Give me more here on this night of cups. This person truly loves you. They want the connection. They want to marry you. Like they want to. They want that equal change of a of love. They want the balance. They want to connect with you. They want to make magic with you. It's like you cut this person off. You stop talking to this individual, and this person is really up in their head. There's no communication here. This person want to be with you. But it's like you're so focused on this other person. It's like, I can fix them. I can heal them. <sighs> Give me three more cards on advice for Scorpio. Spirit, what you want to tell Scorpio? Yeah, I'm sorry about that beeping noise. I got that door open for the dog. A lot of you guys, you left something behind, but you're still stressed out. You're still worried about it. You're thinking about it, though. It's like you don't know what to do. A lot of you guys are very scared. You're very nervous. You're very worried. You don't know exactly how this is going to go. I feel like some of you guys left a perfect match for someone else. Because I have the Three of Pentacles here. And this Three of Pentacles right now is giving me the feeling of three people. Scorpio, I hope this resonated with you guys. Like and subscribe. If you didn't get to all the way to the end, like it for me. I greatly appreciate it. I wish y'all peace, love, and light. Y'all have a great one.